Hi friends, today I'm using this 3D embossing folder of a brick wall to spruce up a vignette box. There is a lot of glare in today's video, I apologize, and full disclosure, I am still 100% in holiday craft mode. It might last all year and I'm probably not going to apologize for it. So I embossed these two pieces of paper. They are, I believe, four and a quarter by eight and a half. And you can tell that they are longer than the embossing folder. So I embossed one side, then flipped the paper around and embossed just the tail end um, that wasn't embossed previously. This was pretty easy in this case, just because the embossing folder is a brick wall and so it had some lines that were easy to follow and easy to kind of match up. I'm usually pretty heavy-handed when I use a blending tool but I purposely was very uh, light-handed this time. The 3D embossing folder really has a lot of varying height but um, in addition to using a light hand the ink pad that I have is not uh, very inky. It was pretty dry so it worked out uh, in the end and I just went around and added a little bit of color here and there and then went back for a second coat. Today I'm using this Ideology Arched Shrine. I cut my embossed paper uh, to fit and just kind of lay it in the back there. You can go ahead and put a coat of paint um, on the inside if you like. I just uh, decided I would let the wood show because I like the wood look. Once my paper is cut down to fit inside the tray, I grab some multimedia uh, matte uh, medium, multimedia matte medium, and uh, just spread it um, in a pretty thin layer across the bottom of the tray. I originally was going to use art glitter glue, and then I was going to use the collage medium. Um, and this was just easier because I had it in the little tub and I could use a palette knife for it to get all the way across and into all the, um, the sides. I lay my paper in and work it in with the back of the palette knife. There's one little portion that's sticking up a bit, so I lay the bottle on top of it for a couple minutes while it adheres. I decided that I'm going to use this door which is an ideology layer, I believe, from the 22 Christmas um, release from Ideology. I also cut down one of the Tim Holtz rulers, but um, decided that I wanted to use something a little larger. So I grabbed a piece of balsa wood and cut it down with my uh, new miter shears that I got for Christmas and glue some stairs into place. Here I have a little metallic sisal tree and I took the wood part off the bottom just by twisting it around a bunch and then I didn't really have anything to put inside of the urn base so I folded up the bottom of the tree and just added a blob of glue inside the urn and glued it in there. I set it in, held it for just a couple minutes, and then set it aside while it dried. I love this piece of ephemera that says this way to Nottingham. I wanted to give it some bulk and be able to clip it 
and have it hang low so I added a little bit of the wood pieces to the back of it. I used one of the small hinge clips and then I attached it to a fake pine branch that I just kind of had in my stash. Used a jump ring to clip the hinge clip onto that pine branch and glued it down. So now um, the clip is loose. You can unclip the Nottingham sign and put anything you want up there. I also added just a small strand of Christmas, fake Christmas lights. You can see a couple of them back there under that pine. Next, I took one of the um, metal findings. I'm not sure what this one is called. It looks like a, like a ship window. And I glued that down just with some art glitter glue and then used this Seasons Greetings um, milk cap. I think this is a baseboard um, or a layer. And then I went ahead and put just a small piece of the, the Christmas design tape down and I glued my little urn with the tree in it right there and it looks kind of like a little tree that's on um, maybe a mat or a little piece of grass and that's it. After I looked at this I thought maybe I would want to um, make the wood of the steps a little darker but all in all I like the way it turned out and I hope you did too. This is part of Embossing Folder Fridays. This is a hop and you can click on the Embossing Folder uh, January hashtag and uh, it will take you to the other members of, of the hop, their videos and their creations. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget that likes and subscribing to my channel all help me grow my channel and get my content out to more crafters. Thanks for all your support. Have a great day.